Hey, church leaders, John White here again to talk about how schedules and plans work within CCB. Now, we've already done a general overview of the three different windows here in our uh, CCB schedules and plans pane. So we looked at how schedules and plans work uh, teams and positions and serving rotations. So uh, if you haven't seen that general overview video, go back. There's also a schedules and plans where we look more in depth at this particular tab. But today I want us to take a look at teams and positions. So in our schedules and plans video, we saw how there were these different teams and different positions. But the question may be, how do we set up those teams and positions? Well, that's what we do in the teams and positions tab. Uh, if you take a look here in the middle of my screen, I set up a, a basic uh, team just called worship. And I gave one position to our, our Sunday AM worship here, the song leader. Now, if I'd like to add uh, some extra teams or positions, um, I can just go over here to edit teams and positions on the right hand side. And I can add a position. So let's say I wanted to add the opening prayer. All I have to do is add opening prayer as a position that can be filled uh, for, for my schedule. So whatever it is that you're responsible for scheduling, you can kind of come up with your own teams and positions that you'd like to schedule. You can also add multiple teams. So if there's other things that you organize for, say, a Sunday morning uh, that follow a similar schedule, you can do that as well. So let's say uh, we have the worship team, but we also have a security team. And I want to add security, and let's say we're going to have a position of lobby, and let's add another one of parking lot. So someone who's kind of patrolling the parking lot. And we can add as many teams and as many positions as we'd like, okay? So we're gonna add these two, these positions and this extra team. And this means that when we go to our schedules and plans and we start to organize those, okay? So I'm gonna add August 1st here. You'll notice now I'm in charge of taking care of security and worship. So in our last video on schedules and plans, we just had worship under there. So that's what controls what shows up under that uh, particular schedule. But back to teams and positions. Um, so we have worship and security here. So the question may be, how do we populate that list of people that shows up when we're ready to assign someone to a specific Sunday or to a specific role. Well, that's all based on this particular um, window right here, the teams and positions. So if I look under song leader, you'll notice there are two people currently listed, uh, Casey McDonald and myself. Um, and so anybody that I want to show up in that list, I can add them here. So I can either add them um, in two different ways. The first is I can just search for them. So let me, actually, let me go ahead and take myself out. Then I'm gonna add me back in. So right now it's just Casey. I'm gonna type in my name, click the little checkbox next to my name and hit add. And now I'm gonna show up in this window. So again, if I go back to schedules and plans, I'm gonna click on August 1st here. And you'll notice when I go to song leader, if I hit add volunteers, there's two people that show up in that alphabetical list, and that's Casey and myself because that's the two people that I've added to that worship team uh, under that position. And you'll need to do that for each position that you're willing to fill, and that makes sense because you might have some guys who are comfortable with, say, you know, leading a prayer or serving on the table, but they may not be willing to speak or do some other things. So it's all based on um, what people are comfortable with, what people, what roles they serve in now. So the other way to add people is by importing them in mass from either categories or uh, from groups. If you look at import volunteers, two things pop up here, uh, in, import individuals from a category or from a group. Now, the place you're most likely gonna do this is from a group. So let's say you wanna keep all of your people who serve under your particular ministry in a group, and that's where you guys share group messages and things like that. You can go in and say, uh, I'm gonna import from a group and I'm just gonna pick AV because I know they have a group already set up with some members in them. So if I click on AV booth, you'll see selected volunteers 14. And if I want to, I can click on this little arrow and that will show me a list of everyone that's selected. If I hit import, it's gonna import all 14 members from that group, okay? So a group might be a really easy way for you to keep up with uh, who is kind of a part of that ministry, who frequently serves in that ministry and in that role. And once you have this list populated, you can add people individually one by one, that's fine. Uh, there's, not, there's not a wrong way to do this. 
Uh, and that list is not something you'll have to keep changing or importing very often if you're just adding a couple people here and there from time to time as people kind of join. Uh, you can also go in and delete people from this list. So if I wanna take Casey out, I just click the little X that pops up next to his name. Uh, and that will take him off this list. So if he decides, uh, I'm not gonna do song leading for a while now, or if, he, if he's uh, moved away or something, you have somebody that's, that's no longer volunteering within your ministry, you can just click that little X and that will take them out of your, um, that position. So that's how you change your teams and your positions. Um, and that's basically what will show up under schedules and plans whenever you're going through and scheduling different positions, different roles. These are the roles that show up and these are the people that will be allowed to show up in that list. In our next video, we're gonna take a look at serving rotations and just kind of take a brief look at that feature and see how that can help you out. So stick around.